Now, let's draw some ceilings and lighting fixtures. We'll keep our 3D view. We'll toggle the generic BIM tool. And since I have the IFC coverings here already, I'm just going to launch the type manager and click on create new type. The predefined type is indeed ceiling and I'd like the template to be horizontal layers. I'll name it C01 and a little H here. Save new type. The reason I wrote H is because I also need a vertical layer if we have any bulkheads or anything as such. So we'll save this new type. I'm going to edit the horizontal. So I'll activate this object. I'll then go onto geometry and materials and I'll edit the object material. If you don't have the correct materials, you can add them as we did earlier in this panel right here. So I edited my layers to be a layer of plasterboard and a layer of painting. I'll do the same for the vertical. Sweet, I now have my types. Let me hide the slab and I'll go to this room where we already drew some wall floors with shift and right mouse button click. I'm going to place my cursor there. I'll make sure that my correct type is enabled and I'll press shift A to add. There's my ceiling. I'll go into edit mode straight away. So I'll press tab. Then I'll go into a top view and I'll start moving these vertices with the three modes that we spoke about. So vertex, edge and face mode. So let's go to edge mode and carry on changing your profile. Press tab when you finish editing. We may want to color all of this. So under the scene properties and project overview, we'll go into grouping and filtering, color by property, and we'll press on color by property. I need to move this back by minus 0 0.10. Tab again, and I'll place my cursor there. And now I'll activate my vertical covering and I'll press on shift A. Then I'll rotate this three times. I can also look at my shortcuts under tool here in the side menu panel. This is kind of similar to how we draw walls, etc. So with this covering selected, I'll give it a height of 0 0.2. And for the length, I'll select this wall and press Shift E. I could have also selected my covering and select my slab and press shift E. Okay, so let's draw now some lighting fixtures. For this, we'll go onto a drawing view. We'll go to our drawings and documents tab. Here, we'll load our drawings. We'll create a reflected ceiling plan for our first floor. Press on plus, and here's our plan. We can now activate this view. And let's change a couple of options. We'll change the orthographic scale to be 25. And hopefully these options are going to move here someday. Um, yeah, now we'll go to the project overview, project setup, then project library. We'll load the library file. Here's my lighting fixtures. And I'll load this single element here. Now, let me change in my type manager to lighting fixtures. Okay. And now I can press shift add to add my spotlight, duplicate it, move it wherever I'd like. So let's say on the y axis, where is it? There it is. On the y axis. So let me move it here and I'll take this one and I'll show you the array tool under geometry and materials, then parametric geometry array, and we'll press on plus, then we'll edit the array to have two of these spots, we'll move them across by say three meters 0.5, we'll press on sync children, and we'll hit OK. And it moved too far out. So I'm just gonna move this one down maybe remove my snaps. That's too much, isn't it? So just two meters, 2.5.
and I'll add another array to in the x axis, we'll put 3.5. Okay. And there we go, we have four spots. Now, whenever I move, whenever I move my spot, the others will move along. Now here's a bonus script. If you select all your lighting fixtures, let's select them, and go into the scripting environment, and just paste the code that I'll be providing. Press run. And what do you get? We have our five spots with actual lights. In your render properties, render engine EV. Now here are our spots. 